What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Brad with Power Ups. And what I got for you in this one is the Nintendo Indie Highlights. Uh, Nintendo just recently released this two days ago, August 20th, 2018. Uh, apparently 16 new indie games going to be coming for the Nintendo Switch. And what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to do a live reaction video to this. This is my first time watching it. First time seeing any of this content. And so I love indie games. Uh, I'm a really big proponent of independent developers, game developers and indie games in general. So let's just get into it, guys. Peggy 16. Peggy 16. One thing I gotta say that I really love about Nintendo in general, you know, is just that classic, like, retro, I don't know, animation. Very colorful, very, very bright and vibrant. Indie Highlights. Hello everybody and welcome to our Indie Highlights presentation. A whistle-stop tour that's filled to the brim with top indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. We've been working with some of the most talented independent developers on the planet, and we've loved seeing their excited, work man. thrive and flourish on our platforms. Because of them, Nintendo Switch is already home to some tip-top independent games. And here's a bunch more. You're All an right. inquisitive cabbie, helping the Parisian police investigate a vivid cast of potential serial killers while making enough money to pay your bills in Night Call. Night Call. from Raw Fury, it looks like. So it looks like you have the option of kind of dictating the storyline and where it's gonna go and how you wanna to react to the world around you. Always a fan of that. If it actually does alter the outcome. It's got like a dark, gritty vibe to it, like a Sin City vibe. You're a taxi driver, I think. Experience a new kind of narrative noir game when the super stylish Night Call releases in early 2019. Cool. Not a bad start. Being a human is pretty cool. But have you ever tried being a pig, a snake, a frog, a lion, and a dragon? All in Monster one day? All right, classic anime animations. Your journey began, it's time to go. The power of change. Side scroller. Our music is awesome. Look at the animations on that. That's actually sick as hell. Out in the darkness of the night, your courage will shine just like a light. Look how beautiful this game looks. I swear I love indie games. Oh, you use like the frog's tongue as like a hook shot? Look at this game. I am excited for this. This looks phenomenal. <laughs> Good God. I like the classic Zelda hearts in the top left. All these different characters to play with, different abilities. That looks great. <laughs> that looks Monster fire. Boy and Curse Kingdom shape shifts and it's onto this Nintendo year? Switch on November 6th. Guess who's getting that one? <laughs> what would you do if you could control time? Save people in need? Sleep in longer? How about solve a load of brain teasing conundrums? A little puzzle game here. Let's see. The gardens between the voxel agents. Okay, this is different. Ambiguous. A little ambiguous there. 
I'm interested the though. The surreal puzzler, The Gardens Between, makes the journey to Nintendo Switch on September 20th. Nice. You can pre-order from Nintendo eShop right now. Looks interesting. It's time to hit the mean, procedurally generated streets. This brilliantly balmy brawler is coming to Nintendo Switch with four-player co-op and exclusive enhancements. Four-player co-op and it's procedurally generated on the Switch here from an indie developer by Tiny Build. Hmm. Okay. Music's banging, boy. <laughs> That was fire. I gotta say, it looks pretty interesting. Looks like a little love, you know, level by level, procedurally generated uh, playthrough. Yeah, if anything, it looks like a good time killer. You know what I mean? <laughs> I kind of don't see myself getting that one, but I could see I could see that being a fun game for sure. Streets of Rogue comes to town this winter. I swear I love indie games. Beards and boats and bows and arrows. Defend uh -oh. your island kingdom from hordes of Viking invaders in this charming but brutal real-time tactics roguelite. Yeah, hmm. I, I always another Raw Fury game. I I really like uh island kinds of games. Games that are set in like tropical island kind of settings. I loved Wind Waker. Massive fan of Rhyme as well. If you guys have played that. Um, so this looks interesting. You're just like uh, kind of your island as your base looks like, and you what do you set up defenses and defend it from or yeah wave after wave. Okay, that's interesting. Another time killer kind of game. Get out of here, boy! <laughs> Raining the arrows down. That's pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. Raw Fury just pumping them out, ain't they? Bad North is marauding its way onto Nintendo eShop right now. Oh, and it's available now. Damn. Okay. And now, some updates from our friends at 11-Bit Studios. Moonlighter. I like that top view. Indie games always have, like, I don't know, I always feel like, personally anyway, they have just exceptional animations and colors and just real vibrant visual experiences. I really love that. Every adventure has to pay off. Oh, snap. This war of mine. What? What is this? Look at the artwork. Dude, 2D and 3D mixed together is just like such a beautiful experience. What is this gritty looking game? Post apocalyptic looking game. Animations are fire. That look good. That 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 look good. Eleven Bit Studios slaying right now. <clears throat> Children of Morta. Hmm. 
Hmm. Another ambiguous trailer. Okay. Children of Mortar. This war of mine. November. And Moonlighter are this all war of mine. Their way to Nintendo Switch. That's another one I'm definitely gonna have to get. That just pew, looks pew, pew. Embark on a challenging Great. journey through an ever-changing cosmos in Everspace. A fast-paced roguelike space shooter. Hmm. Rockfish games. Let's see what they got. Okay. Got different spaceship options, different customizations. The graphics look brilliant. I like the first person view. That looks dope. <laughs> that looks dope. Who are you exactly? Please. Call me Maurice. I have been ordered to execute search and destroy warrants in the demilitarized zone. You're a bounty hunter? I have a warrant for you, dead or alive. Damn it! They found me! I'm Ellie, mighty outlaw. You are an outlaw? Why didn't you attack me on sight then? We of the coalition have bigger plans. The place is infested with gray goose swarms. Yo, this, this looks beautiful. Destroyed. This looks killer. Look at this. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this one too. I love indie games, man. I have such respect for independent developers. I really do. I really do, man. You know they don't have the money to put behind games like these AAA title kind of, you know, Rockstar games and Naughty Dog have. But to be able to produce something like this, look at this. You know, as a kid, I always, like, I would mock up ideas for video games come up with stories and just have such grand ideas of like I would love to make a video game and like here these guys are just doing it and killing it man this game looks great was this rockfish games that looks good yep when was this Everspace Stellar Edition featuring the base December? game and the encounters expansion blasts off this December so get ready to shoot, loot, and craft your way to victory. A lot of exciting looking games, man. Who are you? Baba? Baba is me? Baba is you! In this tricky puzzler, you don't just make the rules, you are the rules. You are the rules. Well, that's a good hook. Let's see what they're talking about. By Hipuli? I don't really know what to make of this, <laughs> honestly. You are the rules, and then this is the uh, trailer that we get. I'm a little confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused by that one. Call the shots in over 100 brain-teasing levels when Baba Is You comes to Nintendo Switch this autumn. Okay. Craft a unique deck of cards. Encounter bizarre creatures and discover relics of immense power in Slay the Spire from Mega Crit Games. Let's see what Mega Crit's got. So this is a, a card-based game, turn-based combat. 
I love turn-based combat games. And they're bringing it in with all of these different decks of cards and card options. Interesting. A lot of options. A lot of options. I like it. I like it. That looks. That looks. That's look. That looks cool, man. That's a unique spin on things. A unique spin on the turn-based combat style of fighting. The battle system. Play your cards right. Slay the spire. Climbs the tower in early 2019. The fast-paced sports action game of the 90s, Windjammers, will return on Nintendo Switch. Hmm. I don't think I ever played that. Look at the retro art, bro. That is killer. Look at the shades. It looks good. Oh, okay. Well, certainly you can play that with friends. I wonder if that right there will be part of a... Uh, that'll be online service compatible whenever that drops. It looks cool, man. Look at the color. Wait, beautiful beautiful visuals. Oh, they got a twist? Dragon Ball Z and Cell games. <laughs> that looks cool, man. They, they did that trailer right. Windjammers 2 is sure to serve up fun when it launches in 2019. You can warm up with the original Windjammers from October 23rd this year. Hey, dig this. <clears throat> dig this. Surely a pun. Rise and shine, inmates. Build and manage a maximum security prison in Prison Architect Nintendo Switch Edition. What? After a award winning game? simulation and management game, Prison Architect puts you oh, in charge so. of your very own penitentiary. Look after your inmates by building a secure lockup, keeping them safe and healthy, and helping rehabilitate them into productive members of society. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> but be careful. People have needs. Treat them poorly and you'll find yourself with a riot on your hands. The game includes a fully fledged story that mode that explores the grim and gruesome reality of legal grey areas in the prison system <clears throat> and an in-depth sandbox mode. You can also upload your best builds to World of Wardens, so players across the globe can test drive your creations. Uh, oh, that's cool. That's a real cool feature. Nintendo Switch is a premium edition which includes two expansions, All Day and a Night and Psych Ward, letting you up the challenge with new wardens and maps, as well as a new security class, the Criminally Insane. Got him walking around with a little cuffs on. That looks something else to look pretty to. awesome. A new add-on pack based on Prison Architect's wildly popular escape mode will be available on Nintendo Switch later this summer. In escape mode, you take on the role of an inmate, carry out missions, earn cash, recruit new crew members, and do whatever it takes to dig Sneak, swim, or fight your way to freedom. Dig this. Will you build a calm utopia of rehab and care, or come down on your inmates with an iron fist? After all, <laughs> it's your prison, your rules. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I'll, I'll be honest. That looks like that would, that would be pretty time consuming, though. Knuckle That's interesting. down and lock him up. Prison Architect Nintendo Switch Edition is available to download right now. 
Escape Mode will be available to purchase as downloadable content later this summer. It looks like that would be worth it, though, as downloadable content. Get ready a nice for little massively add -on. Morphe player action in Morphe's Law. A That's already out. I saw that in the store. Shooter where your size affects your abilities. But I did not see a trailer for it. Now that the humans are gone, we can get to business. Yeah, they said size matters in this. Meet the Morphes. The humans gave us one purpose. To grow as big as possible. We shoot to grow. Okay. And we grow to be. <laughs> bigger parts means bigger powers. That is very interesting. Isn't always better. Ah, that's cool. And a diverse team means diverse tactics. Play in games of four on four online multiplayer. And up to oh, eight yeah. person local multiplayer. With offline play against bots. Make your own weapons. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Aiming for close. And 60 ish frames per second. 60 ish, that's funny. At least I'm being honest. <laughs> For that big guy, Morphe's Law shoots onto Nintendo eShop tonight. Yeah, I knew that was already live. By the way, all the titles on screen right now will be playable on the show floor at Gamescom 2018. Not bad, if man. If you're there, we hope you'll swing by and give them a Monster while. Boy and looks killer. Everspace looks awesome. E -shop in the, future. the one, the war we something. Hope you this, this is war or something. That looks great, also. As always, we'll continue to deliver new information on all sorts of independent titles coming to Nintendo Switch in the future. Guys, that <clears throat> that looks phenomenal. If you hadn't already seen this indie highlight, man, let me know down in the comments below what you're most excited for. I gotta say, that Monster Boy game looks killer. Everspace, and then that that gritty, dark, uh, like post-apocalyptic uh, war game. I'm excited for those, man. I love indie games. <clears throat> That look killer. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We're putting out content every week. This has been Brad with Power Ups. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what games you are most excited for. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.